Good afternoon, everybody. We are picking it back up in Ezekiel. We finished chapter 10 yesterday, and um, Ezekiel was further explaining God coming to this earth on um, a vehicle that looked like polished bronze that had a wheel within a wheel, and there were people, and God's altar was on it. So, um, obviously, a pretty important message for him to come himself. And we'll pick it up in chapter 11. Lord, we ask you for wisdom and understanding as we go to your word today. Please open eyes and open ears. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. Chapter 11, verse 1. Moreover, the Spirit lifted me up and brought me unto the east gate of the Lord's house, which looketh eastward. And behold, at the door of the gate, five and twenty men, among whom I saw Jazaniah the son of Azer, and Pelatiah the son of Beniah, princes of the people, not priests, princes of the people. Then said he unto me, Son of man, these are the men that devise mischief and give wicked counsel in this city, which say, It is not near, the end is not near, let us build houses. This city is the cauldron and we be the flesh. The city is the pot that's protecting us. Therefore prophesy against them. Prophesy, O son of man. And the Spirit of the Lord fell upon me and said unto me, Speak, thus saith the Lord, thus have ye said, O house of Israel. For I know the things that come into your mind, every one of them good and bad and ye have multiplied your slain in this city and ye have filled the streets thereof with the slain and i, I believe really meaning spiritually dead um therefore thus saith the lord god kill them with your your lies and deceit your slain whom ye have laid in the midst of it they are the flesh and this city is the cauldron but I will bring you forth out of the midst of it. Ye have feared the sword, and I will bring a sword upon you, saith the Lord God. And I will bring you out of the midst thereof, and deliver you into the hands of strangers, and will execute judgments against you, or among you. Ye shall fall by the sword. I will judge you in the border of Israel, and ye shall know that I am the Lord. This city shall not be your cauldron, neither shall ye be the flesh in the midst thereof, but I will judge you in the border of Israel. And ye shall know that I am the Lord, for you have not walked in my statutes, neither executed my judgments, but have done after the manners of the heathen that are round about you. And it came to pass when I prophesied that Pelatiah the son of Beniah died. Then I fell down upon my face, this is Ezekiel, and cried with a loud voice and said, O oh Lord God, wilt thou make a full end of the remnant of Israel? Or are just going to um, end everybody? <laughs> Again, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, thy brethren, even thy brethren, the men of thy kindred, and all the house of Israel, holy, are they unto whom the inhabitants of Jerusalem have said, Get you far from the Lord. Unto us is this land given in possession. We don't need God. Therefore say, Thus saith the Lord God, Although I have cast them far off among the heathen, and although I have scattered them among the countries, which they deserved it, yet, and this is how precious our God is, Yet will I be to them as a little sanctuary in the countries where they shall come. Therefore say, thus saith the Lord God, I will even gather you from the people and assemble you out of the countries where you have been scattered, and I will give you the land of Israel. And they shall come hither, and they shall take away all the detestable things thereof, and all the abominations thereof from thence. And I'm going to leave that there because we'll pick it up with more, more preciousness from our Lord tomorrow. 
I hope you guys are having a great day. Love and blessings to you, and we'll pick it up there tomorrow. Have a good night.